Homeowners associations are supposed to make things easier and better, but a hardworking family reached out to 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears, claiming their HOA is making their life harder, targeting homeowners' cars using predatory towing tactics. In Las Vegas, for most of us, our cars are absolutely necessary, so we need a safe place to keep our rides when we get home. But some homeowners tell us their community design has turned their neighborhood into a parking prison. It's, it's ridiculous, though. It makes you feel unsafe in your own neighborhood. I know multiple people out here have their cars towed. Stressful, exhausting. You know, we were up at 4.30 in the morning thinking that our truck just got stolen. In May, Crystal Bigness and her family bought their house in Trecino, an HOA community in Mountain's Edge. We've always parked one vehicle in the garage and one vehicle here just because our vehicles are so long, we can't put both of them in the garage to close it. But one late October night, Crystal was in for a serious scare. And then all of a sudden one night, our truck was just gone. After parking it for months and months and months. Yes. No notice, no letter, no nothing. It was just gone. Their truck was parked at the end of their driveway between the red lines of a fire lane. Some say homeowners should know better. However, the red only extends about halfway up the street. And then you've yes. got other neighbors here yes. who clearly have two gar garages. Yes. But it's okay to park a few feet up the street, just not here that I couldn't explain that to you. Making things more confusing. There are signs posted on the street that say no parking beyond this point. I'm standing right behind one of them. Can you see me? Probably not. And that's because the sign is completely obscured by a tree. That's the case for both sides of the street. Crystal's house is on what's called a stub street. Space is so limited that half of the block is designated a fire lane. I couldn't even sleep the other night. 13 Investigates has reported on this problem repeatedly, where communities of densely packed single-family homes are not designed with enough room for parking. Um, I've had my own vehicle towed from the front of my house twice by my HOA. Um, and it's extremely frustrating. The county approves building permits that allow developers to build these parking prisons. We asked Crystal's commissioner, Justin Jones, why? Look, I, I think that there's been some, some mistakes made in, in some of the higher density communities. Jones says filling the need for affordable housing in the Valley is an ongoing struggle. I don't, my, my, my primary consideration as a county commissioner is, is not making sure that home builders or developers make more money. I don't particularly care about that. I do care about the fact that uh, people who live in my district or want to live in my district can't do it uh, right now because they're simply priced out of the market. Higher land costs mean more houses need to be built in the same amount of space just for developers to break even. But for homeowners... It's, it's kind of stressful because you can only there's only so many uh, spots you can park and everything's in red. Parking at the end of the driveway was common practice at Trecino. Mike Morphis was towed twice. Um, I was actually getting the kids uh, ready for school one day and I was inside not even 15 minutes, came out, my truck was gone. As you're trying to leave for school? Yep. Wasn't was parked out here all night? No, just parked out here to get the kids ready and that was it. No notice, no advanced warning? No. Both his and Crystal's cars were towed legally, according to the Nevada Transportation Authority, because even the end of the driveway is included in the fire lane, so advance notice is not required by law. The HOA contracted with Ashley's Towing for removing cars. Ashley's points to the signs and red curbs, saying people need to take responsibility. Section 10 and Section 11. Jones says the situation is bad for everyone involved and agrees more disclosure could help. This is something that HOA boards simply need to, to, to work harder on. Um, even if you're going to enforce a uh, a on-street parking regulation and you have the authority to do so under your CCNRs, give people an opportunity uh, ahead, of ahead of time um, before you're going to do that. A board member told 13 Investigates the HOA is revising its towing strategy and may consider refunding the towing fees to the homeowners. We've also confirmed Ashley's towing no longer works with Trecino, but we don't know why. I don't know. It makes you want to leave the area. You know, it makes you want to go somewhere where they don't have an HOA. 
Tresino HOA and its management company, RPMG, declined an on-camera interview. They provided a statement saying they adhere to the policies and procedures in the HOA's governing documents. Darcy Spears, 13, investigates.